would say, when you come down here, you could be any person you want to be. And you walk through those doors, this is the court, this is the cage. The cage, also known as the West 4th Street Courts, lost a true legend, James Worthy. He meant a lot to everyone here. He was always a voice, he was always a presence, personality, um, polarizing but he was definitely uh, family. Family, friends, and basketballers came out to the cage Friday night to honor Worthy's legacy. To many, Worthy was known as the unofficial mayor of the West 4th Street Courts, announcing games, selling water, and making sure everyone got a chance to play. He's been a staple down here for years, and over the last, over a decade, he was the voice of the games in the summer. He was the announcer, and Everybody knew him and he knew everybody. These outdoor courts are among the most iconic in America, known for its high quality pickup games and annual tournament. Worthy often served as the official announcer with his signature megaphone. He showed a lot of love to everybody. Everybody loved him. He was like a mentor to everybody. Worthy's sister, Sheila Nash, says whenever the weather was nice, she knew exactly where to find her brother, right here on West 4th Street. Every time I turn around, he says, sis, I'm, I'm getting on a train. I said, I know where you're going by. And although he may be gone, his legacy will live on through the cage and the players who make it feel like home. He's reached everybody out here. We all know who he is. And, I mean, it was just, just one of those things. It's like there's, there are some people who do what they say, that do great things in little ways, and then some people that do little things that are really great. He's one of those guys. Worthy's family says he died last weekend after a battle with cancer. He was 63 years old. In Greenwich Village, Rebecca Greenberg, New York One.